Vibrato is one of many sound production elements that we need to work on and beautify throughout our life as musicians. And today I'm not going to talk about the different type of vibrato we have, but more about how to work on the different techniques to work on to make the sound, to make the technique, vibrato technique uh, better. And you don't need to be a new beginner uh, in doing vibrato to work on these exercises. Um, I'm uh, very often doing many of these exercises in order to uh, be more aware of how I'm um, doing the, the vibrato that I like and how I can develop it and um, make it sound more different and um, create like new nuances. Uh, and before I start, I just want to make sure that um, you see me um, when I'm showing the, um, uh, the joint. And uh, one of the important things uh, in doing vibrato is to have your hand and um, arm raised and joints of the fingers uh, very relaxed. Uh, don't be tense. Uh, because that's very difficult to uh, practice if you are, your hand is tense. And the most important joint that you have to think about is the first joint of the fingers that you are doing the vibrato. This joint needs to be very relaxed and um, flexible. The first exercise I want to show you, um, I'm calling the ambulance. I'm going to Play it first so you can hear how it sounds and then I'll show you um, closely uh, on my hand uh, so it sounds like this and that's low and uh, you will gradually um, practicing um, in a faster tempo with a metronome think about uh, a different rhythms like uh, eight notes or 16 notes if that's easier for you uh, but always um, do the movement rhythmical so more time That's the movement, so you're rolling the finger on the string. The second exercise, um, it's uh, very good for the arm vibrato, so I'm going to put down my bow and uh, I'm having my hand here, my hand and uh, um, the fingers are just hanging and I'm supporting the violin with this hand. And then I'm just doing this movement from my elbow, just open and closing the elbow so that you can also feel this um, flexibility on the joints. And once you practice this a little bit, you can also move to the strings and do the same movement on the strings. Just make sure that you are only moving the elbow um, and not so much the wrist. The wrist needs to be relaxed, but not, don't move it. The third one, um, and that's my student's favorite one, it's the slide. Uh, so it sounds like this, you're just sliding on the strings, on one string at a time. As you are doing it faster and faster, it uh, really sounds like vibrato. Um, the beginning is not so nice, but if you train on doing the wider and um, slower amplitude uh, and then gradually make it faster and smaller, then eventually it will sound like vibrato. And 
Uh, I'm going to continue with uh, four more exercises that I learned from Simon Fisher's book called Warming Up. So Simon Fisher calls his first exercise more pressure, less pressure. And he's uh, showing it on the, on, on the wrist, uh, on the hand, with the wrist like this. And, and then he's applying more pressure to the finger that you do the rattle, less pressure. And more pressure and less pressure. And on the instrument, it will look like this. So when you have the finger on the pitch that you want to uh, produce, that you want to hear, you have more pressure. And then you pull it and almost have it like a harmonics. Uh, that's less pressure. So when you reach the pitch, you have more pressure. And when you pull back, you have less pressure. So. And you can also practice this uh, with a metronome rhythmico and try all over the fingers. So. And so on. And next exercise, um, he is calling a knuckle collapse. That's uh, because you are going to. Um, um, Put your finger on the string, uh, like with a rounded finger, and then you're going to collapse the knuckle, like this. And that's working a lot of, um, it's a lot of work for the first joint that I talked about in the beginning of the video, which is very, very helpful. So you can uh, practice this one on the string. And it will sound like this. And so on. And then the third one um, is uh, he's calling Pinocchio's nose. And that's uh, because you are pushing the finger towards the, the string and then pulling it out. So it's becoming flat, like this. Let me show you without the violin. So the finger is very, very close to the violin. And then you push in and out, and in and out. And when you pull it, that looks like Pinocchio's nose. think about it like a um, hook. It looks like a hook when it's close to the violin and then it's uh, long away from the instrument. So close to the instrument, away from the instrument, close, away. You can also practice this one rhythmico with a metronome uh, on, I would say, um, quarter note, note 90. Last exercise he's calling the circle. Um, so you are think about the circle that you're doing with your finger away from your face and towards your face. So it's like this. And it will look like this on the string. So you're pulling away in a circle movement. But it's a very good exercise because um, when you um, increase the tempo and you make the circle smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, this is when you get the real vibrato. So and 
this is how you can practice it again, uh, rhythmical, um, and do it faster and smaller, uh, the circle. So these were all of the exercises I wanted to show you today. Um, please uh, comment uh, which one uh, you like and which is uh, easiest for you to do or maybe the most difficult to do. Uh, ask me questions and uh, I will see you in my next video.